In this video, we'll see how to uh, create a graph like this, which would display the total expenses, total incomes, and total transactions for the current year. So we'll create a dashboard. We'll add this data to the dashboard, a graph data to the dashboard using charts.js. Okay, so let's get started and let's run our application so i'm going to run this application now okay our application is started and if we load this uh, reload page we can see this our dashboard is look something like this so now in order to add the graph what we need to do is we need to uh, we need to create let's create a repository function uh, to count the total number of transactions to count the total number of expenses and total amount of expenses and total amount of income so we'll go ahead in our editor and we'll go to the transaction repository so we need three more queries to show this data one for incomes one for expenses and one for transactions okay we'll add the income uh, uh total amount total amount of incomes query here so it would take this would be the query and it would take the transaction type as income and the date would start from the date that we provide in the service transaction service and the end date from the transaction service so this will be the function name count income between dates and parameters it will take is the start date and the end date so we'll save this and let's go ahead and create uh, let's go ahead and create this function in the transaction service okay we have to call this function in the transaction service so we'll go to the end of this and let's create this function so here we are going to add this function called as get total incomes by month the same trans the function between count income between dates is here so it will go to the transaction repository and count the incomes between dates that will go ahead in the transaction repository and count it okay so we go to transaction service we import the classes okay the date classes and you can see that the year month is uh, added the java time local date and java time year month is added here so once we do this we can we are getting the month year of month then first day of the month and the last day of the month okay on based on that we are calculating the data so we are doing it for the 12 months if you see we are looping the month from 1 to 12 so it will get the incomes for the 12 months now what we'll need to do is we need to create a route for this so we need this functions in our controller so we'll go to the dashboard controller and we will add a function for the total incomes by month so we are getting the total incomes by month okay so it, this is going to the transaction service and it's getting total incomes by month okay this will retrieve us the total incomes monthly wise uh, for uh, for the transactions okay once we do this okay next part is we need to get the total expenses so what we need to do is we need this both queries will show the total expenses by month and also the total transactions by month so these both queries will do that okay this will get the transaction type as expense and this will uh, this query will count the total number of transactions for the month okay i will upload this code on the git so you can download this code and review yourself so once i do this uh, i'll save this okay i'll save this and now we need to add the functions in the transaction service similar to that one we added in the 
added for the incomes so functions will be similar to that one which we added to the total incomes by month okay if i minimize this so just below this we can use this functions here so in this function we can see that we have get total expenses by month okay and this will display the total expenses by month okay count expenses between months so this will go to the transaction repository and count the access expenses between two dates so this is a similar function to that one of uh, getting total incomes monthly wise even after that we are using get total transactions by month so these are the total transactions by month so we added these two functions now let's create a route in the dashboard so i'll go ahead and add these routes here so if i see here so we are using the total expenses by month and we are calling the transaction service and the function that we created again we are getting the total transactions of the month and calling the transaction service function Okay, now we'll see how to add the JavaScript code, the jQuery code, and the charts.js code in the view file. So uh, let's go ahead and add the chart.js library. Uh, let's go to master layout and we can add it here just below the dashboard CSS. So we'll create this, we'll add it here, and this is the chart.js file okay so now let's go to the index.html file and let's add the chart data here okay i'm going to update the main and uh, you can see here that uh, we have uh, after breadcrumbs we have a uh, transaction income and expenses over time so this is the new section that we added for the charts okay and this is the existing sections for the income overview expense overview and the transaction overview so if we save this and i'll just change this route to slash okay so we run this and we'll see we'll see how the dashboard works here if the functions are getting called so since we don't have the chart data yet so it will just display this empty block here and we have the total income total expenses and the total transactions from the earlier page so we have just included uh, done some modifications here i will upload the code on the git so you can look at the changes that i have done uh, uh, html related changes also have been done here so now let's uh, work on the jQuery functions. We have already created the functions, as you know, for getting the total amount of expenses, total amount of incomes and transactions. So now let's create the Ajax function. So now we'll first add the 12 months and then we'll uh, initialize this 12 months with the zero values. So this is the months that we'll be adding January, February and all of the 12 months of the year. And these are the variables that we are storing. So like we have expenses variable, we have incomes variables and we have transactions variable. So initially all these 12 months for we are creating 12 months for each of these variables. So now and we are initializing it with the zero value initially. Okay next what we need to do is next we need to have an ajax call okay ajax call for total incomes by month okay this ajax call so let me uh, maximize the page and we can see that there is this is the ajax call which we are calling for the incomes so we'll remove dashboard from here so it points to the correct url and then we can see that we are getting the total incomes from this uh, function from the controller and then we are looping to the months so this is this months for each will loop to the months and then we'll create an update chart that will be a common function okay so 
this is for the total incomes next we'll add for the total expenses similar to the incomes function we have an expenses function which will again uh, go to the url of total expenses by month and it will again loop through the data and there will be a common function called as update chart and it will update the chart okay so this is the second function next we'll add the function for getting the total amount of transactions okay you can see the total amount of transactions here it is a similar function which are we are making a call to the controller function and we have an update chart that is the common function so now let's rerun this and see if our ajax functions are working and if we are getting the data the update chart function won't work so i'll just comment this because we have not created this function okay i'll just comment this code i just want to see if our ajax calls are working so we'll up comment this we'll save this and rerun the application here and if i go to the inspect element here and we'll see if our application has started you can see our application is running on port 8080 and let's reload this page and we can see uh total incomes by month total incomes by expenses by month and the total transaction by month are displaying over here so our data is coming so we need to create a chart function now to display this data in a chart format so let's go ahead go ahead and create a chart let's minimize this and now just below this let's include the chart data okay i have included the chart data here and i will explain what i am doing here so i'm getting the transaction chart if you control f and control find this so if i go ahead and uh, use a transaction chart id here so we can see there are two instances of this so we can see that there, there is a converse id of transaction chart so it will display this data in this id and uh, we are after that we are getting the data we are sending this data is for the chart so we are including the labels this will be the labels of all the months okay and the data sets will be total expenses the label then the expenses data will be put here that is retrieved from the uh, that is retrieved from the ajax call so as you can see it in the jquery function that we have uh, expenses data here so we are storing the expenses data on this line so you can see this okay and then we are also storing the incomes data so all this data we are have to put in the charts in the data sets so we are putting the expenses data here we are putting the incomes data here and we are putting the transactions data here which are coming from the ajax call okay and this will be displayed as per the month okay then we have the configurations these are the configurations of the graphs so i'm using line graph with the data and this data is the data variable that we are creating here so this is the data variable that we are passing into the config file so this is the data variable okay so once we have passed the data variable we are making it responsive to to look good on the mobile devices and for the scales for the x scales we are using the months okay and for the y scales we are using the amount now what we need to create is we need to create a update uh, functions that we had commented so this will uncomment and we need to create these functions because uh, we need to set the totals here so the chart will be updated based on this function okay these are the three functions if i go ahead below and i add this function here so all the expenses so the data that we are getting from the ajax calls we are updating it to the transaction sets data okay you can see the data that we are updating 
So if we save this and if we run this, let's see if we get any errors. Now if we run this and see that we are getting the data here. So this is the transaction data. So you can see if we go ahead and we can see the total incomes here. Okay, we can see the total expenses will come here in the red and the total transactions will come here. So this is how we display the data in charts. And we go to the inspect element and let's reload this and see that our transaction data is coming and working totally fine. So this is how we create the chart graph in the Spring Boot application. So I will upload this code and uh, you can download this code and review yourself and make changes to the code and play with it.